Okay guys, today we're heading out doing some minnow trapping for bait. We're using straight up dog food. We're setting three traps today and uh, well guys, to be honest, if we don't catch about 60 minnows today, then I'm gonna be in trouble. Now, I've been trapping for my uncle. He actually needs about 100 minnows and so far, I've only got 40. And the bad part about it is, is that, well, he needs them in the morning. So I have to figure out how to get like 60 minnows today but i've got one two three traps i'm gonna go hit up some of the best spots i know hopefully we can pull them out if we do that'll be great if we don't you know then i, I don't know what to do but anyways i'm gonna quit wasting time talking and go ahead and set them out because the quicker i can set them out the longer they have to catch minners now this first hole i'm gonna be setting in the past it's always been my honey hole i've even came down here before and threw my trap in for like three hours and came out with like 50 minners just in one trap except the only problem well, this year I've trapped it a few times and it's never really produced like it used to. So, But hopefully they change their mind today because, uh, well, we really, really, really need some minnows today. Just drop it in just like that. We're going to call it good. I'm just going to tie it up to one of these little branches right here. Move on to the next one because I got three to set today. Now this next minnow hole, I've actually never been here before in my life, but... It looks pretty deep, and there's actually some minnows that I can see from here, so, you know, we're going to try it. Not to mention, I did have to cross two fences just to get here. Now, this next spot, it's actually, like, super shallow for minnows, as you'd think. It's honestly, like, I think it's, like, four or five inches deep. The trap, it will not be submerged, guys. Some of the trap will be sticking out. But you wouldn't even believe how many minners you can just sit here and look at. It's honestly hard not to set a minner trap in it. I think I've trapped it maybe, I don't know, once or twice, maybe three times at the most before. And I honestly remember doing pretty good here also. I'm just going to throw it in the deepest water I can find, which is, you know, right there actually. So, ah, uh, well, yeah, it barely, it almost covered up the trap. I think I can do a retoss and get it better though. Right there yeah that's a good spot still didn't cover up the trap but i don't think i'm gonna get to in this spot now i'm just gonna drive my wire right into the ground and there we go now i'm just gonna head back to the house for about four hours but for you guys i'm gonna make it a little bit clearer by doing this right here okay so while we all were in that weird wormhole thing seems like a tsunami decided to hit kentucky and turn the creek into basically chocolate milk now my goal for today was to get 60 minners out of three traps Guys, that's a big goal that's a really big goal but right now i'm gonna get water in the minner bucket so that you know we can transport them back to the house now is that a big goal of course it's a big goal but i think i can do it but anyways oh gosh ah oh, ah oh, i just fell through i just fell through Oh, dang it. Oh, I almost fell in the creek right there. The stick gave out on me and just my leg went through. But anyways, here we go for a reliable hole. See if we got any. We got... Oh, dang it. We got like four in a crawdad. I mean, yeah, I understand you. I can't catch minners every time I go trapping, but that was over reliable for me. I've always caught minners out of the hole. I've caught a lot of minners out of that hole before. And, you know, the one time that I like truly need them, I can't catch them. And I can't catch any. But here's the second trap. We'll see. I can't even find it. Oh, yeah, there it is under there. But let's see if we, it could change. We've caught three more minners boys we got to change something something ain't working right now okay guys this is our last hope this is the last minute trap and here's the fence i gotta go over i've never trapped this one before in my life and there may not be a single minner in this hole but that's what we're about to see you see right there's a trap and you can see a whole lot of small minnows surrounding it but i don't know if there's any bigger ones and i don't know if there's any inside but we're going to, have to pull it up anyways and see what we got right here okay here we go moment of truth we have oh my gosh we got like two minners guys i can't say today's what i hoped for i came out needing about 60 minners and going home with about 10 and i fell in the creek that's not exactly what we wanted so we got like two minners and like three or four crawdads we're not really going to use the crawdads for bait but you know here's one minner that'll help set one bank pole i guess and another minner is right there we'll get him too now there's a crawdad i'll toss him back in the creek Here's a small crawdad. And then there's actually a crawdad who took off booking it over here. Yeah, here he is. He just straight up took off booking it. He made it about a yard and a half right there in about a second. Man, he's a quick one too. But, I mean, yeah, that's it for minnows. I believe we're going home with 10. 
not what we would like, but definitely better than nothing. Here we go, gonna add to our collection. We didn't get many, but. But you gotta admit, that's eight or 10 more than we had this morning. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm in the back of this thing. They told me that I was going fishing. They probably kidnapped me, but they told me I was going fishing, so I jumped in the back. And I got these two frogs. That's all I know. Ah! Yeah. That'll work. So here we are at this pond. Before I got in the back of their thingy, they said, do you want to go anywhere special? I said, I really don't care as long as it's somewhere with the grass, because basically all I got is three frogs. So, you know, there's grass here, which is sort of good. Hopefully I can catch a bass, probably not, but that's what we're here for. Okay, here we go, first cast. Frog fishing right here. I know there's fish here. I just don't know where they're at. Oh, it broke. I just broke my frog off. Well, good thing I brought two more. How do you even do that? I don't know how you do it, but I did it. Okay guys, well I didn't catch any fish, like usual, but we came over here to this pond and we're actually sort of after turtles, as you saw in some of my past videos. Oh, they're on me again. And by the way, I just went to pee and apparently stepped in a fire ant hill and they're still on me. I'm gonna go home, I can't do this. This is bad. This is this this is real bad. Okay, well I sort of got that fixed at the moment. I don't have pants on, but that's okay. All right, so here we are. He's out there throwing some weightless chicken breast out there, trying to get a turtle. Cause we drove up this trail and we saw like ten just floating up on top. There's a really good chance to catch a turtle in here, but there's also a pretty good chance to you know get bit a whole lot by bluegill. Cause as soon as he threw it in, he got constantly nipped and nipped and nipped by bluegill. So we may get a turtle. We may not. You never know. That's what. That's why you try for. But as for me and the ants, you know, I don't know. I'm just. I'm not staying. I'm not getting off the bed. I'm just going to stay in here. And if I have to, I'll ride home in my underwear. I don't even care. I'm not jumping off this thing till I get home. And every time I put my pants back on, I feel them again. I don't know if they're really there, but I feel them. It's probably just in my mind, but hey, that's enough for me to start slapping. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I'm actually wearing a different shirt right now. Basically because, uh, well, it's the next day. I forgot to film an intro. Here's Notification Squad. If you want to be like them, turn on your notifications. Go down in the comments. Type in hashtag Notification Squad and then your name. But don't forget, also comment what you liked about the video so I can improve on my videos and do more things that you guys like. I don't know. You can watch this video or that video. Please do that. But I, besides that. I'll see you later.